You shouldn't have to choose between a personalized but slow dynamic page and a fast but stale static page. We should be able to have the best of both worlds, and that's where Next.js's partial pre-rendering could be a game changer. Partial pre-rendering gives us the benefits of dynamic and static without their downsides on the same page. If you look at this demo, we see that the static content comes in incredibly fast, and then the dynamic content highlighted with that pink dot gets streamed in after. With partial pre-rendering, this is easy to implement, and if you're using React Suspense already, you're halfway there. Let's look at the code for this. Partial pre-rendering creates a static shell based on the suspense boundaries, statically baking in these fallbacks. That static content gets shipped and quickly rendered. Then as each of these suspense components resolve, they get streamed to the user and render too. Before with Next.js, your page would either be fully static or fully dynamic. Soon we won't need to choose. Partial pre-rendering isn't ready yet, but we'll probably see this in a beta release pretty soon.